So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus Eververse plus the seasonal pass and then maybe some other things here and there. Uh, the first video of the season is usually this big. And then after that, we usually just cover the seasonal challenges and Eververse. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. I will have a lot of content coming up for the week because the new season's out. I'm really enjoying it and I've got a few weapons already. So let's look at the stuff that you can actually do this week. Sorrow bound, complete bound in sorrow one and defeat scorn chieftains this one's not too hard this one if you're doing the story stuff specifically like going into the new area then you're gonna get this eventually i've been playing for like maybe maybe two three hours and i'm already almost done to be fair if you want to like really target this you can but i just kind of casually am getting this done uh, nightmare containment one successfully comp complete tiers of the nightmare containment public event on the derelict leviathan throughout the season uh, this one again not too hard I've completed like three nightmare containments they're pretty interesting uh, I will have a video uh, reviewing what I think about it but yeah this one again not too hard uh, sustain fire defeat combatants with auto rifle or trace rifle final blows on the derelict leviathan and defeat combatants with solar damage and any se se sever activity uh this one again the sever activity is pretty cool uh i will have my playthrough of it of just the playthrough no no talking no nothing so if you guys are interested i will have that probably right after this video maybe but yeah, this one not too hard. I actually really enjoyed it. You can solo it if you want. It's not hard at all. And yeah, just use a trace rifle or an auto rifle or both. That's also viable as fuck. Uh, vest vestiges of Dread 1 throughout the season of The Haunted. Com collect vestiges of... Uh, vestiges of dread and pick up material nodes on the derelict level of Uh again if you're doing sorrow bound you're definitely going to get this one because there's just a bunch of stuff on the floor that you can just pick up uh specifically these little things hopefully i have it in the screen right now but basically it's the material in the leviathan um derelict leviathan activities on the derelict leviathan complete bounties and earn progress by completing patrols in public events again the public event is specifically the nightmare containment but you can also do patrols uh, in the area which is pretty cool uh completing the bounties is actually pretty uh worth it because you actually do get progress towards the seasonal activity stuff so that's really cool uh taking out all challenges complete weekly playlist challenges uh three in total which is essentially uh crucible uh yeah crucible vanguard and gambit so if you're not a big fan of gambit you might not get this one which is the next one as well dredging up victory complete gambit matches earn bonus progress for wins this one's gonna be annoying for some people i know there's a lot of people who just would not touch gambit i am not one of those i play a lot of gambit which is pretty gross so these two you're gonna get well specifically once you complete this one you'll have dredging up victory uh momentum uh crash and uh scorn pest maybe no no so i guess they don't have a vanguard for for this week uh mid-range cal calibration calibrate mid-range weapons hand cannons glaives auto rifles fusion rifles and machine guns on the derelict leviathan uh bonus progress for rapid defeating combatants again just be using th these weapons when you're completing everything else and you should be good again i've been casually just using whatever guns i get and i'm already almost done with it uh, momentum control or momentum crash defeat guardians of momentum control earn bonus progress with zone advantage so uh momentum control is a really good place to level up a lot of things if you want to level up weapons if you want to level up uh catalysts there's a bunch of stuff you can do in momentum control so this is definitely worth it in my opinion and then last but not least scorn pest control defeat scorn combatants in vanguard playlist or on the derelict leviathan earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants okay so this is the the vanguard one i haven't done vanguard so you guys will know that i just did this dirt uh, directly through der the derelict leviathan um and that's pretty much your seasonal challenges for week one these aren't too hard a lot of these i've been just getting casually uh, aside from taking all challenges dredging up victory and momentum crash i haven't done these because these are specifically the the stuff I usually do at the end of the week or in the middle of the week. Uh, and because it's a new season, I, that's this is not the first thing that's in my head. The first thing that's in my head is what's the new activity stuff. As for Eververse, oh my god. Actually, let's go to season 17 because it's right here. Also, the new UI looks really cool. So for the first one, obviously, we have the Trespasser. I did not know this was the seasonal weapon, which... 
I don't know how to feel about it to be quite honest. I don't want to I don't want to like give them too much shit, but I I don't know how I feel about a Destiny 1 exotic being the seasonal pass uh, or season pass uh, exotic. I don't know how I feel about that. But I mean, what the fuck ever? Like, what am I going to do? So we do end up getting opulent energy, which is cool until you realize you need like seven to actually do something with it. So these are pretty useless uh, just by themselves because you can't do anything with them. Then we get material. We get a new shader, graceful phantom, which I don't know if I'm a fan of yet. I'll definitely try to use it with other armor sets and maybe I'll like it. Uh, then we have ever send grams you usually get this every five or or i thought it was five i guess it's not anymore um uh, some bright dust we have a really cool finisher with the new reaper uh, scythe thing which looks really cool and then i'm not gonna go through all of it because there's a lot but i will go through some of the main points like the some of the main cool things like the the eager eager gore eager eager gore entrance i don't know how to say that uh that's really cool you get a armor of the haunted which the armor looks really cool i'm almost done with the hunter and then we'll do a review on it because if i wait for everyone it'll take me way longer uh for 25 you get an exotic which is fine i guess uh the shotgun without remorse is level 30 which is pretty cool this shotgun looks terrifying uh same thing at level 30 you get the pale steed which is i'm not i don't know if i like it or not if i'm being if i'm, if I'm being quite honest i think uh i don't know definitely it doesn't look terrible but i just i don't know if i like it it's weird definitely weird then for the free to play players you get trespasser at level 35 for yeah the level 35 which is kind of a bummer but i mean it is what it is for level 40 we get spectral indigo which is actually pretty cool it's a pretty cool shader i love the i love the dark blue the indigo i love, love that color it's really deep uh the armor plate looks really cool as well so this is definitely a good, pretty cool shader obviously we're going to be getting uh bright dust throughout the whole season pass i wish it was a little bit more but i mean at this point i don't really care anymore uh, we get the fire fright fire fright uh, auto rifle, which is really really cool. Uh, we get the ghost shell at I don't even know what level that was, but I'm not the biggest fan of this. It looks kind of goofy, but I mean go ham if you like it. Level 50, Jesus, really? That's okay. Uh, and then we get some armor from yeah. At least they give us four opulent energy. That's cool. Still can't do anything with four, but I mean whatever. Uh, then we get the Eidolon armor set, which is the the season armor. Then we start to get the the Epilos following armor set. We start to get the arms and then so on and so forth, which is really cool. And then we get a new emo, which is really cool. I've seen this one before. Yeah. Super, super cool. I wish this was a hand cannon. Like, I wish we could get that as a hand cannon. That would be sick as fuck. Uh... Then we have this cool cloak. I'm not going to show everything be of the armor set because we will we will do a uh, review of it because I'm going to be farming the shit out of bounties to get this done. Because look at this. Look at this helmet. Tell me this helmet doesn't look frightening, bro. I want this helmet. Oh, my God. This looks so cool. Uh, and then we have an emote shower of wealth, which makes sense. This is a uh, season of opulent. I mean, season of the haunted which has callus it, it, it makes sense and then we get the one false step skin for the trespasser which is really cool so yeah let me know what you guys think about the season pass i'm i'm definitely i definitely think this is like one of the weaker season passes that i've seen from other games like at least like call of duty other games specifically like uh I don't remember what the name of the, the fighting game is called, but it has a season pass in it. Most of those have like actual currency, like equivalent of like silver. So that would have been cool because when we get to the store, there's a new thing that kind of like really, really pissed me off. But at the same time, like I was like, I don't whatever, dog. Like if the Destiny 2 community doesn't doesn't care and doesn't want to fight for like doesn't want to fight in general then what the fuck who the fuck am i to tell him so 
for the free st or I, don't sh I shouldn't say free <laughs> for the stuff you can get for bright dust we have the Tyrian abyss which looks terrible on this armor set but i promise you it's really cool and i haven't seen the blue yet but i've seen purple and i've seen white so yeah definitely a cool shader you definitely should pick it up and then obviously you guys have you if you guys have been following my content you guys will know that uh the beginning of the season for like the first week or two uh it's j they just sell stuff from previous seasons as you can see we have an ornament from season of dawn which was a long time ago so don't expect a lot of new things from from this season at least not until like week three or four uh we have timed on timed honored shader which i'm not the biggest fan of we have gloom strife which again not the biggest fan and iridescent coral which this one looks cool just because the armor plate like that looks really cool other than that i really don't care about it and then for some reason deep sea jaunt which i see the shader like almost every week i don't know why and then we get to the seasonal offerings. So as you guys probably know, they are offering 10 season ranks for $10. That's essentially a dollar a rank, which as a content creator, this is beneficial because it just means I get to review the armor that much faster. But at the same time, it does feel scummy, so I'm not gonna get it. And then we have the Sun's Apex Hunter armor, which, looks really cool i just wish the arms weren't asymmetrical i mean this isn't new if you guys have been following my content you guys will know asymmetrical armor sets really piss me off and this is no different i mean other than that i mean the glow is probably going to stay yellow which uh, i don't like but i get why they do it it's just that it limits you on what you can and cannot put like you can't personally i would not combine like for example the void armor with the solar armor you're just gonna look goofy although i would love it but i mean this is the world we live in if you if you're if you were to ask me though i think the boots and the helmet are the best pieces and then the cloak as well the arms and the chest pieces they're good don't get me wrong specifically the chest piece really good i think the arms are the only thing that really irks me a lot uh, we'll look at the hunter or the titan and the warlock after we look at all what the hunter has to offer We have sharp aim which if you guys have seen my trailer review, which I'll have in the description below You guys will see that. Uh, yeah, we saw this in the trailer and it looked really cool the The first ornament we see is for the celestial nighthawk, which is funny considering this already has two and I'm not gonna lie I don't like the beak down like the downer beak not a big fan of it, but it does look really cool. I specifically like the the eyes. Uh, and then we have Lucky Pants, which I love this look. It looks so cool. It's definitely a combination of Cabal meets Cowboy, and I'm all for it. It looks cool as fuck. I'm definitely going to pick this one up when, it, when they're selling it. And then we get to what I think is a problem, <laughs> because now they're starting to sell well class items apparently and my gripe with it is that okay let me let me just say if i can get this through for bright dust i don't think i'll have that much of a problem with it um that being said i still think it's just scummy because you guys already sell so much so much of like let, I'm trying not to like really, really tear into it because at the end of the day, uh, Bungie's going to do what they want to do. Even though I think it's gross that they're monetizing their game this hard where uh, you can buy your season stuff, you can buy armor pieces, you can buy cosmetics up the ass, and the, game, the main game doesn't have any cosmetics of this level. So I think the more i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i definitely don't like that they're going to be selling uh, class items because at that point they're just going to start selling more and more and more stuff in the eververse and the game is just going to be like well here's an armor set that we made for you be happy and it's like i guess whatever if you guys want me to go more in depth with it i will but it's just it's one of those things that 
they're gonna do this to like see oh are people gonna get mad about it no going even deeper make a whole armor set make another armor set for eververse make another armor set for eververse and it's like bro like this this could have been in the game this armor could have been in the game everything all this shit could have been in the game but you know oh no Tony, you better not bitch about the store because herpa derpa derpa. Uh, insert excuse here, you know, whatever. Uh, let's get on to the Titan. And for the Titans, we have a lot of cool stuff, so let's just get right into it. The armor set for them actually looks bitchin'. I actually love it because a lot of the pieces are very symmetrical and very usable. Let's look at the helmet. Helmet easily easily one of the best pieces it looks really cool especially if you're going for a nightly look again the only problem you're going to be facing is the fact that the glow doesn't change color so if you're not going with a yellow glow and literally almost any other color is going to be uh clashing with this arm with this glow so you just have to be careful with what glow you have uh, chest piece is very boring and it also has that problem that I don't like but this one kind of is okay because it looks very royal but if you're if you'd ask if you were to ask me I'm not gonna use a chest piece uh, arms however definitely gonna be using this for a smaller armor type feel this is definitely gonna be used a lot by me uh, boots definitely definitely gonna be used I think that's my favorite piece from the whole set the boots just look so good uh, I'm already thinking about like the possibilities of this armor set with shaders I'm gonna be using and then last but not least the mark is it's good But damn, let me tell you I have seen so many marks where it's like you get the dick cloth thing and then cloth on the side the Titans have been getting that mark so many times this like the year alone so i'm not the biggest fan of the mark just because i feel like i've seen it so many times already so uh to just uh quickly just say it boots s tier helmet a a a tier a plus tier and the arms are a plus as well and the chest piece is like a b and then like the the mark is definitely like a c like honestly just because i feel like i've seen it already uh, as for the finisher, which looks pretty cool, definitely really cool. The first ornament we're going to be looking at is the Path of Burning Steps, which looks so fucking cool. Definitely going to scoop this up when I have the chance because my God, does it look bitchin'. Looks so good. This on top of the solar armor is going to look beautiful. And then the next one is no backup plans, which looks cool. Definitely looks cool. If you can change the color of the glow, even better. Uh, my my only gripe, not even gripe, just confusion is like, this looks almost cr like crystalline. So like for me, like when I first saw the picture, I was like, oh, that's that's uh, that's an ornament for this uh, for that one for that. One. Oh my god, let me just show you guys before I start like saying for the ice fall mantle i legitimately thought this was an ornament for the ice fall mantle because it looks like crystals so i was like oh obviously crystals equals you know uh stasis nope it equals no backup plans weird but i mean pop off either way i will most likely be picking up the path of burning steps and i will be ignoring the, the i'm not even gonna try to say that name uh, mostly because again it just thematically doesn't make sense to me but i mean whatever and then for the ornament for the titans you get the mark of the falling star which obviously is going to pair well with the with the caress of the falling star again i'm i'm a little annoyed with this because this could have been a really good reward for literally anything it could have been a reward for the new dungeon it could have been a reward for completing the seasonal story it's very annoying that they just added another thing to Eververse when they already are eating up so much of the I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep talking about it. I'm just gonna okay reiterate why do you need more stuff in the Eververse there's already enough but let's go on the warlock and then I'll give you my final thoughts uh, as for the warlocks they ended up getting a really cool armor set as well everyone got banger ass armor sets I'm really happy about that because uh, that was not the case for the void armor. I think the Titans were the worst. And then, yeah, I, I made that video if you guys want to see it. Uh, but yeah, let's. 
first and foremost this helmet let's talk about this helmet i love i love the the front view of it it looks so cool uh this like wiener fire thing looks weird though but other than that if it was like connected to the like right here and then it was like a flame like a mohawk flame that would have been fucking cool but this like wiener fire thing i'm not a fan uh arms kind of basic but not terrible i mean there's fire there and it's thematically it it's they kind of look boring a little i'm not gonna lie but this chess piece let's oh my god dude this chess piece is beautiful this is oh my god dude i hate that like what it feels like is the the artist just put all their soul into the chess piece and then everything else is like all right cool like whatever just just do whatever for that but the chess piece gotta hit because this chess piece hits bro this chess piece hits uh as for the boots uh the boots are pretty cool uh it's warlock boots usually they hit or miss and or they're just like it's not even i don't know uh boots are fine they're not that crazy but at the same time they're not terrible and then the bond actually is uh pretty terrible in my opinion uh I don't know i think maybe maybe if uh the fire was a little bit more distinguishable because sometimes it doesn't look like it's there but other than that uh i definitely think the the chess piece is the best part the helmet's really good the arms are kind of basic the bond is also kind of basic and then the boots are not basic but uh, they're in the middle of that like basic but good so uh, as for the ornaments, we're going to be looking at Ophidian Aspects, which, holy fuck, this looks cool. This looks super cool. Okay, I'm probably going to pick these up. They give off such a Wild West vibe, and I'm definitely loving it. Uh, next one is Necrotic Grip, which is, I, I'm not a fan of this one. Let's, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not a fan of this one. Um, mostly because of this right here. If it didn't like stop right here, if the wires were still a little bit like if the, if the wires went under under this, I think that would have been way better. To be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of Siva stuff. A lot of it just kind of looks weird because we don't have Siva inspired armor. So most of the time you just look you look foolish wearing Siva armor when it's like we have no other Siva armor to begin with. So that's just how I feel about Siva ornaments in general for the bond the you get the bond of battle harmony which fuck that looks cool oh god that looks cool okay that is a big ass bond though so again i'm just not the biggest fan of them selling it's like you already sell an armor set through eververse do we really have to have a universal armor or a universal class item for them as well like do we really have to do that uh Again, if they sell it for Bright Dust, then I I guess I won't be that mad about it. I still will be mad about it. I'm going to be real with y'all because uh, it's just, again, I don't know. I'm probably in the minority when it comes to stuff like this because I see a lot of people who are just like basically just accepting of the fact that Bungie just keeps adding on to the Eververse and also making sure that the Bright Dust acquisition is just terrible because it's been getting more and more terrible over the years but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on social media outlets links in the description below are you guys going to pick up anything in the eververse let me know in the comments below and be safe and i'll see you guys later